Hey all you Salvage fans, it's Zach. And Todd again. And we are trying to be live at Copart uh, Denver Central. Yep, just north of the center of Denver. Just north of the center of Denver. It's definitely not uh, centrally located per se, but the uh, signal is always a little spotty and a little tricky at uh, Denver Central. So we are doing our best to show you the hashtag, what Todd? Best in Salvage. Nice, it's like we practiced that uh, or we something. Think we did. So anyway, we've got a couple cars coming up for you today. Some real interesting ones to take a look at. Um, cars that you don't typically see in Denver, which is why we wanted to come to you today on this hashtag tune in Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna start with an M4 that's got a little bit of a dirty little secret, wouldn't you say? It does. Yeah, um, it's a perfect looking car. In fact, um, you know, I'll get you flipped around and you can see it. It is up there on this rack right there. Zoom in just a tad and it looks great but it's hiding something that we got to show you because we want you guys to bid and win farmer salvage with hashtag no salvage surprises i want to show you up close and personal exactly what we are bringing you so that you can bid and win with confidence on the hashtag best and salvage then we've got a uh, toyota truck uh, and then we have a ferrari believe it or not so uh, yeah all sorts of special things going on today out here at copart so without further ado let's, let's get you out. flipped around and we'll get you zoomed back out and we'll go take a look at this bmw m4 so salvage fans look it's important to remember that when you see a car with mechanical damage at copart you need to come take a look at this thing yourself up close and personal because just taking a look at this m4 and even us walking up on it out here in the yard we did not see anything wrong with it i mean you can see a little bit of right here, some plastics that are busted, but the wheels aren't showing any impact. The car itself looks clean. I mean, you have got what we think would be one of those diamonds in the rough, right? One of those cars where you're thinking, I'm gonna place a bid on it right away, get going with it, because surely it can't be that bad. Well, that's where sometimes you might be wrong. So let's show you what's going on with this car specifically and why Copart labeled it mechanical damage. Mechanical can cover all sorts of stuff at Copart. It doesn't have to be one specific set of damage. Front end is fairly self-explanatory, but mechanical is not. They do have these racks at Copart. Almost every Copart in the country. So if you need to see a car up on the rack, you're wondering about it, give us a call, let us know, hit us up through social media say hey i want to see this up on the rack can you guys show me what's going on with it and we will do our best to get it put up there because you know perfect underside until we get here so take a look at this right up in here right there is a big enough impact to the oil pan that this sucker has no oil so what happened here right now with this car is it ran completely out of oil. And so, I don't know, Todd, do you think the engine might even be locked? Could be, could be. Very That's possible right. that the engine is locked at this point. That's probably where the oil Todd was gonna is. show you something, so I'll get you flipped around again here. I was just gonna say that's probably where the oil intake is to the top of the motor. So, you know, it's there's certainly potential for, uh, for top end damage in the valves um, and even uh, down low in the cranks. So. Yeah, so just reminding you guys, We'll get Todd on camera. It's really important to get stuff inspected when you're buying it from Copart. Absolutely. We want you guys to bid and win with confidence. We want hashtag no salvage surprises. We want you to know what you're getting into so that you guys are buying the best in salvage with the confidence that you can fix it up. This one, I mean, have a mobile mechanic come look at it. Have somebody see Absolutely. if they can get the engine to turn by hand. All of that's possible on something like this but you can't do it unless you hire somebody to come out and take a look at it for you because guess what we're not gonna be able to do it for you right. right we can show you this kind of impact boom looking pretty nasty up in there but we can't tell you whether or not this engine is good or not so if you were planning on bidding on that M4 I'm sorry <clears throat> if I showed you something, but I think you'd rather see it before you put a bit on it rather than see it when you get it home and realize that the oil pan was off and the, uh, <laughs> the engine might be seized. So you might be buying a pretty nice looking paperweight, be a great one to set it out in front of your house and 
talk about how cool it looks, but sure can't drive it like that. Now we're gonna head inside to the garage. We are at a working yard, so you guys might see loaders coming in and out, but we've got our truck in there and we've got our Ferrari in there as well. So I'm gonna walk you in there, try and not trip over anything in the yard, right, Todd? Yep. We're gonna walk you in there and we're gonna show you the next one we have, which is a Toyota Tundra that's basically brand new. We found this one out in the yard today when we were looking for other stuff to feature with our Ferrari. Yeah, granted we know nothing else is a Ferrari, but we just wanted to bring you some more of the best in salvage out there today. So walking up on this Tundra with only 9,900 and some miles on it, we'll show you in just a little bit. Todd did just have to put a jump box on it just briefly to jump it to get it started, but fired up right away. Nice rear end hit because we know that not all of them are going to be crazy sports cars that you're looking to rebuild. So like I said before, 9,955 miles on the odometer here. We'll jump you in. 9,956 you can see right there. Todd did uh, drive this one right over here. It does run and drive. You can see we've got a fairly basic Tundra for you, but almost no miles on the engine here. Looks real good in the interior. You can see there's the Farmer's F. We put those on the cars, Copart does, to show you what company they belong to. So when you see that F on there, you know it's gonna be Farmer Salvage. Here's another pro tip. Come look at the stickers. Our name is always on that sticker, Farmers Insurance Group right there below that lot number, 53998019. Casey's calling this one Retail Red. I'm gonna call it Resale Red. Also, take a look at this. This is another thing you need to check for at Copart. This, this right here, we do not know if that is related to the loss or not. See, what happens, guys, is when they're moving stuff around the yard, they're gonna use forklifts and they're gonna front load 99.99% .99 of these vehicles. So what you're gonna see is, is you're gonna see some front end impacts. You know, we call that yard damage and it's just kind of the cost of doing business. So just be expecting when you're pulling this out of the Copart yard, you might get a couple other impacts here that weren't listed on the facts. So this one definitely has that. You got that hit right there on the front end. But the main damage on this thing, the reason why we totaled it, is you've got a pretty big hit in the rear end. Look at that buckle right there. You can see this thing was whacked in the rear. So we've got that cab corner that is completely smashed in along with some probable frame damage, right, Todd? I got you on camera, so. Okay, let me see if I can get them positioned down so we can see that. Yeah, you can see that bow in the bed. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit, Todd. Yeah, there it is. You can see how that bed bows over from here to here. That, that uh, bed definitely lost some length in this impact, Todd. <laughs> you know, a little short. It was already a short bed, so it's a little shorter now. So it's like me; it's gotten shorter with age. Oh, and Casey is letting us know that front end dent was there in the check-in oh, photos. So that's good to find out. So here we go. There's your main impact, and I'll try and get you up underneath this one just a little bit more. See if we can see anything up underneath there. Uh, I'm not real seeing it, but this is another example of something you should definitely come out check out for yourself so that you know what you're getting into when you go to bid and win the best in salvage. How's that Ferrari looking over there, Todd? Are we ready to take a look at it? All right, last car of the day for you salvage fans. Got a Ferrari right here. Flat number on this Ferrari is 472448589. Once again, you can see it says Farmers Insurance Group right there on it which is how you know you are getting the best in salvage an f430 i guess we just got a theme going on here today casey because this one is also retail or resale red however you want to call it you see we do have some parts missing on this ferrari f430 the parts were taken by the owner much to our sadness because we would have liked to supply those parts to you guys now what's interesting about this Ferrari, and I'll get you flipped around, and we'll show you some more in a second, is that this Ferrari actually was running and driving it when, it, when came it came in. in. It's listed as a flood. 
We got a story to tell you about this one. So what happened on this Ferrari is the top was open when it started raining. So it wasn't driven into a flood, nope. wasn't down in Houston that we know of, uh, wasn't part of some big crazy flood loss. It got rained on. And when it got rained on, the mechanism of the top, the actual motors themselves on the left and the right hand side seized up. And so the damage was done by trying to force this top open and closed. And believe it or not, the top is pretty darn pricey for this Ferrari. So when you're looking at this Ferrari, if you come out and inspect it, you're gonna need to look for two things. One, if you see any residual water damage, we're gonna take you inside, we see none. Didn't see any, didn't see any fog in the windows or anything like that. Nothing like it doesn't that. Doesn't smell. Doesn't smell. But two, this thing no longer runs and drives. We had a mobile mechanic out here trying to get it started we cannot get it to start today for you we'd love to fire this thing up and get it revving but we can't so what we've got here and you can see i don't see any mold on the inside here you know we're looking pretty nice now it is an older ferrari so of course there's some wear on this it did have 20 what do we got on there Twenty-one thousand miles todd uh, let me double check. yeah 21335 so just over 21,000 miles on this Ferrari. And you can see here, you know, some of the missed parts include that hood that's missing. Tail lamps. Tail lamps. The mirrors are gone. Uh, did you say there was another emblem that you found that was gone? The hood emblem is missing as well. So definitely some parts gone from this, but that would be a... It, we did get the... Uh the dash to light up it tried to start but the battery was just too dead yeah here let me get the camera jump right in there todd so they All can right. see that so so you said we had a mobile mechanic come out we had a mobile mechanic come out uh he got the battery tried to charge it and it had been sitting so long uh dead that uh, he got the dash to light up got the odometer reading uh it tried to start but he just didn't have enough energy in the battery and he didn't want to hook it up to a battery charger to put a massive jolt in it uh, avoid frying the system so uh, we're gonna put another battery in it and give it another shot yeah so there you have it we tried get this ferrari running for you this f430 could not get it going for you we're gonna have another battery come out we're gonna pay for a brand new battery to go into this ferrari because we want you guys to uh, know whether or not it runs and drives that's what we do and we do that on a lot of these cars salvage fans we come out we look at them we take a look to see if we can get them running, if we can get them driving, um, you know, so that you guys know exactly what you're getting into when you bid on it. So that's what we've got for you today. Make sure to check us out on all three of our platforms. We're coming to you live now on YouTube, but we're also going to be on Facebook and on Instagram later, showing you guys the hashtag best in salvage. So uh, to all our salvage fans, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. You guys drive our business. And remember, have a great day. Let us know if you need anything. Copart.com slash farmer salvage is where you can find all of our inventory. Oh, I can already hear Casey yelling at me. It's copart.com slash FS for farmer salvage if you want to see all of our inventory. So thanks a lot for tuning in today, salvage fans. We'll go ahead and sign out.